Hello everyone, welcome back to Mount Bello Zoo and we start with the obligatory bird's view of our little zoo and uh, actually funny thing, it's uh, not a little zoo anymore. To get the overall bird's view of what we have here yeah, takes us very high into the air, so, uh, but um, um, <laughs> I really enjoy it. Anyway, I like the train station we did last time. Finally, the start of a zoo feels uh, some uh, more complete and we don't have any uh, remaining gaps in the main area of the zoo, which is, uh, which is pretty good. I also very much like the cassowary little corner we made. It offers some nice peek throughs through the foliage from the air and I think even from the ground and it works pretty well the way I envision just a very few people roam here which is fine and I think it suits the cassowaries so uh, that's pretty good but uh, let's move on now maybe to the new area that we are building right now I will uh, show you the overall structure or what I'm uh, doing right now right here and you could see it's a uh, progress pretty much the bare bones right now um, so uh, what is my plan here what's my thinking right um, I want to follow up with the team I've said here in the first episode for the llamas I think it's uh, very good but as I moved um, on with uh, my Zeus I've kind of abandoned this idea of the all the ruins and the zoo builds on them so I think this is perfect opportunity to continue with this on the other side of the little peak here um, so uh, the building on uh, this size is going to be the uh, same theme as uh, it is for the llamas um, the, my originally thought was actually that I wanted the llamas uh, habitat to continue right here add some more animals and uh, create a little walk through in uh, this backside section of uh, our habitat and uh, behind these uh, buildings and toilets and make a walk through llama habitat here well <laughs> you could see right now and from the thumbnail that's not going to happen because the Australian DLC got into it so uh, we are getting kangaroos and I think it's good I mean it's definitely not your traditional outback kangaroo habitat but uh, you could get enough of that on the workshop and other zoos so that's fine what we're going to actually create here is uh, some uh, or not some a lot of lot of uh, old ruins and the habitat and all the buildings will be built around that and uh, we are going to also make some uh, nice views with some education about the old uh, buildings old ruins and uh, whoever b uh, lived in there and it's all starting to fall apart a little bit so i've added this uh, new australia dlc beams you know as a support so it doesn't fall on the heads of our poor visitors and here it's going to be well you know what wait for it um so uh, this is basically the progress i have right now i think um this is a lot to take in so i'm not sure if i I am going to be able to finish this for this episode but definitely the habitat for the kangaroos it will be even though um, I know it's desert animals so uh, they will not definitely not have uh, the biome and uh, foliage from uh, their biome what is expected by the game but uh, we don't care about that in Mount Zoo, right? So uh, there will be some viewpoints. I'm uh, messing up with the shelters a little bit here for the guests. I'm not pretty happy with this right now, but I think uh, the structure right now as it is is good. And I think we can move on with the build and uh, with this little rest area forward. And uh, I might catch you in uh, some more progress. Now a little extra for you if you want to add some uh, sort of a ruins to your South American part of zoo in the wake of uh, me doing this. So uh, this might can handy a couple tips how to do that. So first of all start with some uh, large section or large blocks. Just plop it down the way you uh, take it from uh, the menu 
and by pressing Z you can get the rotation to 90 degrees. Make sure to keep it 90 degrees because this way you will get pretty uh, nice shapes. Now why uh, you can uh, choose any any set from the wall ruins you have here and uh, if you align them nicely vertically and horizontally to match the lines of the stone blocks like this it can uh, gel together very nicely and you can do that pretty much uh, any way you want so uh, we can add even keeping this advanced rotation move uh, angle snap yes we will turn that on and we will just rotate it 90 degrees and once again we can align nicely all the levels of blocks and it will fit together now uh, let's uh, maybe you know what we will copy all three of them like this uh, merge them into group advanced move and once again rotate and this way we will create some kind of a house which is broken down of course already and we can add some more so let's uh, select this one with the window and once again by pressing Z we will rotate and we will once again try to align the blocks together so that it fit nicely we should be able to do that yes okay maybe I'm thinking we will move this one a little bit and now we have we have pretty pretty good ruins and we can add some detail to it so I will continue with uh, this wall actually a little bit once again I will try to position it nicely like this yes and we can okay we are out of terrain here <laughs> funny never mind we can add some terrain and we can add some like chip blocks from uh, this side so let's just say okay this one's too small okay this one is perfect let's just say this one got tipped from the actual wall and fallen down we can put down some uh, support under it like this yeah this looks good uh, let's move it just a little bit okay and of course some rubble around so uh, we can select I don't know this one okay yeah this one looks pretty good here uh, let's have one more chipped stone block right here and uh, some more rubble here uh, don't be worried to put down a lot of it and bury it to the ground like this wall has just fallen down and was uh, chipped to the rubbles all around and I think this looks pretty good you see it's uh, really nothing too complicated we can even add some uh, detail like this which which I really do like let's just say there was another wall that just fall down completely so uh, we can add such a detail in here and again we would surround it with the rubble and uh, there you have some of the old ruins um, if you go for this look I think the Jaguars might be good idea you know the Jaguar habitat would look great with this even the anteaters or llamas definitely llamas yeah let's look at the llamas we already have see um, this is basically what I did for llamas and um, I'm pretty sure you already are familiar with uh, uh, these ruins so you can add some stairs on the sides and uh, some more rubble and stairs to the top and it will definitely look good if you add a tree and some hanging hanging roots from it and the uh, llamas will actually like it li <laughs> yeah pardon me I'm looking at the color variations we got for the llamas they are pretty nice yeah I haven't looked at them since the update I think so guys you are definitely going into my cinematics yeah okay <laughs> let's review the damn whole thing we built today we start with a digit cam today because it's um always good idea to check your build from the perspective of the guests um, because that's how they are going to see it we are at the crossroads to the left it's anteater and to the right we are getting to the kangaroo ruins so maybe we can go to the left first because uh, there's a little bistro we have 
the food truck right now it doesn't uh, attract a lot of guests <laughs> oh oh this one is bossing here oh yeah so do we have anteater in house probably not here right now so we do have this food truck by oh boy um i should definitely remember who it was and i will put link into the description to correct this uh mistake because uh, the workshop creators definitely deserve a lot of credit so hopefully i will i will do that and uh yeah little seating area with uh, nice pergolas and a little path down here which you can take and uh, you can uh, read about this big tree made by Idony, which is protected uh, tree so uh, we're going to review this from the birds view yet and uh, we are back on the main street we uh, just uh, missed the toilets which is <laughs> not that super important and uh, here's our first viewpoint for the kangaroos um, I've redesigned a little bit the pergola to make it some more interesting look for this one so hope, hopefully I will remember to release this on the workshop as well so first view of kangaroos we have here um, I put a lot of them and they are happily sleeping in the feeder <laughs> okay never mind um, so yeah that's, this is nice I think this viewpoint pretty much works because you can see at least five of them right now uh, their habitat is um, quite uh, big but it has lots of uh, lots of various parts so they can hide in there in the building or behind some trees and we will review that some more the ruins actually did not make it to the cut of this episode but uh, we will get to it now this is the second viewpoint for the kangaroos and they are not here right now okay they are coming with us so that's good um a little bit there's some action going on and uh let's uh, move on just a little bit if we go down here's the ruins we built together and uh here's a little stuff um stuff sign on the railing which blocks you from entering but uh i think we can go because well yeah I told you just so so in the edge of the mountains you get to this little corner behind the kangaroo habitat and behind the mountain picture so we are on the other side of the llama habitat and there are some implied building in here and some uh, implied farming yeah we don't actually have any farming foliage in game so I had to imply from uh, what I got so we have to live with this so uh, if we go down right there this is the end of uh, this house and a little silo to store your um, grown food and uh, let's leave the Tejit cam and look from the bird's view this is it a um, very nice little cozy corner which is only for uh, the employees and uh, you know they can grow some of their own um, feeding for the animals there's the tank and i actually really really do like how this shaped up it's uh, hidden behind the kangaroo habitat which is like i said pretty big uh, we can see from the bird's view there's some uh, ruins and uh, some foliage i try to limit the foliage to just this elephant ear which i kind of imply that the kangaroos won't eat it for some reason they don't like it uh, but other foliage they would happily eat so it's just the elephant ear in there and uh, some of the nature from the australia like uh, these uh, succulents which are grown in uh, the in the in the little planters made from the stone blocks to get them some of the Australia original foliage to uh, you know make them feel more home and uh, that's pretty much it um, but I really do like it if you look more from the birds perspective you could see we have this big big old tree right there marking uh, a little landmark over our zoo and I hope to somewhat capture the feel of it size from this point of uh, access and view 
we will continue with some more ruins just a little bit from uh, this side and uh, you could already see me outlining how the zoo will uh, look and this will be basically the end of our zoo from this side a little entrance and uh, two maybe three more animals not sure though and uh, yeah what I was saying is that uh, this pretty much marks the boundaries of uh, Montebello Zoo yeah so a couple more episodes to go um, I do have discord and Instagram so check that out it's in the description and uh, guys I hope to see you on the next episode let me know if you like this build or not and uh, have a good one goodbye